when there is a mess a man receives the opposite of the plan of God for his life so the man the lack of reaction makes a man's destiny unfulfilled ladies and gentlemen life is full of limitations life is full of limitations without reaction a man's destiny can be limited by the battles of life may i let you know tonight ladies and gentlemen that where there is a mess your prophetic word will be limited instead of having rest you will be restless in the game of life now a mess can make somebody who is supposed to be celebrated to be tolerated in the atmosphere designed by God for him to be celebrated I want you to also know tonight that where there is a mess your life your life will lack destiny assisted value so some messes of life doesn't allow us get to our full potential and there are some of us here because of many messes in our lives our potential have been restricted and where a mess can be a curse what is a curse a curse is when there is a limitation over your ability your potential or capacity and so tonight god is about to remove your mess i wish i could hear your amen louder here god is about to remove your mess and as you shout amen may the mess remover visit your home visit your finances visit you economically visit you politically visit you in relationship and visit you financially if you can clap your hands and shout amen the fixer is coming to your home i feel like preaching already so you cannot overcome a mess by apology you overcome a mess by strategy you can't apologize because of where you are coming from but you have to build a strategy that will bring you out of where you are coming from you will not apologize because the woman that gave birth to you is was poor and you were not educated you must understand that in our generation you can be educated beyond the four walls of the school you are bigger than where you are and if you think that there were some things that you lost when you were young you can start finding it once you have grown you just have to be teachable to be rechargeable you just have to be teachable to be rechargeable i pray for you tonight whatever you lost over the years may the fixer fix it and deliver it to you if that your amen is louder i say may the fixer fix it and deliver it to you lift up your voice and shout amen three times in this house shout again for the last time give somebody a high five and say my life is not over he is not just repairing it he is replacing things he is fixing things lift your voice and give the lord a shout in this house so let's quickly look at what i call three approaches in dealing with a mess three approaches in dealing with a mess the first approach is what i call the carlos approach say that with me the carlos approach now the Carlos approach was found in Mark chapter 6 when he, the disciples said to Jesus send them away now I want you to know that every problem you see is a divine program for you to be announced into your next level every challenge you meet is to bring out something in you that had not yet been seen that had not yet been encountered so challenges are not meant for you to retreat challenges are meant for re-strategization and so you don't have to are you listening to me you don't have to just open your mouth and say, send them away if you can do it jesus can do it for with man it's not it's but or impossible but not with god for with god all things are you are not in church all things are financial breakthrough is a 
economic buoyancy is marital stability is lift your voice and give the Lord a shout in this so God is looking for men who will take responsibility to deal with the problem now I came to tell you that you are born into a family that everybody is struggling and the reason why you were born there is because you are the one to change the narration you didn't miss you didn't catch it you are the one to change the narration so when you are they are complaining re-strategize when they are crying wipe your tears sit down somewhere and begin to think how can I feed this family? How can I send the people to school? How can I support this? Am I communicating with somebody? Here? If I, you shout a lot of amen, you will not be one of the people who will send people away. Oh, as you shout amen, you are giving educational scholarship to about thousand students because God is transferring wealth onto you. Lift up your voice and shout that amen like fire. There are hungry people. They were also hungry. And you said, send them away. Send them away. There are people who are afraid of problems. But I tell you, nobody ever become great not solving a problem. And a problem you have not encountered, you cannot solve. A problem you have not encountered, you cannot solve. Your next phase is your boldness to face the now challenge. The now challenge will introduce you into the next phase of your life. Don't be afraid, ladies and gentlemen. May God give you grace to face every boldness in life. Hey, hey, hey. Assembly and you didn't officiate that. There is no problem that will last forever. God will bring you out of it. Just be bold and see what God will do. Lift your two hands and shout amen like fire. Amen. Say that for me. I, I think I'm teaching or preaching. Am I preaching already? So, that, so, so emotional people are emotionally hungry. Who do they need? They need counselors, advisors, and genuine scripture oriented people who can be human also to be able to listen to them and deal with their issues. There are people who are physically hungry. A man who is physically hungry would not need prayer from you. That somebody come to you and say, Chale, I am very hungry, so let us pray. Makutala, Isalagata, Valakata. He will look at you and say, Akwa bibi yanana, Messi a komne dim. And I pray for you today. May God give you the key of wealth. Amen. Yay. May God give you the key of wealth. Amen. That you might feed generations on board. Amen. Lift your hand and shout amen three times. Amen. One. Amen. Two. Amen. It is your season to feed the physical people. Amen. Give God a shout in this house here. There are hungry people everywhere. There are spiritually hungry people everywhere. And God is giving you grace. He's giving you prophetic grace. He's giving you apostolic grace. He's giving you all kinds of graces. And you are going to walk in that dimension. Can I hear you shout amen like fire? And I prophesy to you tonight. Prophesy. You shall feed people spiritually. Amen. Give God a shout in this house. So Carlos approach. Oh, send them away. We can't do anything about it. What can we do to do something about it? No, 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 no. You can do something about it. You can do. Let me tell you. Sometimes the answer you are looking for somewhere is already with you. You did not hear what I just said. Can I say that again? Sometimes the answer you are looking for is with you. Sometimes the money you are looking for is in your ideas. Sometimes are you listening to me? Yes. Sir. Sometimes the wealth you are looking for is in the pain you feel when you look at people going through some things. Are you listening to me? Yes. And sir. I pray for you today. For don't me, be sir. callous. Yes. I said, don't be callous and don't be casual because when you are casual you can become a casualty feed them the second one is calculate what the calculating approach and what did that what is uh, philip say sir if there is a way we can 
Wow, blessings, Bishop. If there is a way we can get fish for these people, it will be difficult. In fact, let me tell you, he mentioned the amount of money he think they need. And even with that amount of money, he said to Jesus, they will all get small, 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 small to eat. There are people around you that will think about structure. And there are people around you that will think about the spirit. So when the spirit and the structure come together, there is a definition of purpose in these guys. You miss me. <laughs> I think I'm taking you somewhere. I, 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 are you getting what I'm saying now? Now Philip answered him, 200 denarii worth of bread is not sufficient for them. That every one of them may have a little to eat. So inside his mind, they will just get a little to eat. Can you touch somebody and say, God has more in store? No, I don't like the way you are doing it. If you do it, Lord, I can say, tell them and say, God has more in store. Can you be crazy a little bit and say that, I know you need money. And if I ask you right now, it might be some small money we are talking about. But God has more in store. Oh my God, my God. You think you are going to pastor one small church uh, where two or three are gathered. Uh, God has more in store. Uh, you think that you are, your life is going to be like this forever. Uh, God has more in store. Uh, you think that you are not going to be better Jesus. than the way you used to be. Yeah. But God has more in store. Can I hear you shout amen like fire? Amen. Sit down for me. So, calculating. So, there are people who calculate. One plus one cannot be two. Cannot be, cannot be three. The way you are talking, it is only me and Apostle Furiata. Can we do this? It's not possible. Everybody is gone. How can we get it done? I came to tell you, there is no restraint to go with God from doing it with many or doing it with few. So whether they are few or many, they cannot limit God. Because one with God is a billion. I thought you would shout amen like that. So I prophesy, prophesy, only you and that friend, yes, only you and that partner, yes, you will do exploit for God. Amen. Lift up your voice and shout amen like fire. Amen. They will calculate. Oh, Charlie, I want to marry. I want to marry you. Oh, really? Eh, but how much is my salary? Don't marry those people. How much is my salary? How much do I get? No, it is good that if you want to build a house, you count the cost. But when it comes to some things, it is a step of faith because the just will not live by his salary. The just shall live by faith. Am I communicating with somebody here? We walk by faith, but not by sight. So I prophesy, prophesy. today, yes. take a step of faith and do something abnormal, something unusual, yes. something unprecedented. Yes. Lift your voice and give the Lord a clap and a shout. Carlos approach. Number two is what? Calculating approach. Hey, me and Uncle Soba from Akwa now, so some people are going say, "I say, me need one billion to my account to answer." Me to me, I call. Now, so it's cannot be you. Now, one billion, they make offer for him. You'll be surprised that the person sitting by you in church is worth ten billion, but you don't even know because they've disguised themselves. There are millionaires sitting here; their faces looks like. And I pray for you today. May God help you discover certain people Amen That will become a contribution to your destiny Amen Lift your hand and shout that amen like fire Amen Sit down for me The third one is what I call the compassion approach Now compassion is a driving force It's a compressing of passion That gives you motion until you get your destination 
It, it is a combination of graces. It's a collaborative forces of giftings. It is, it is an inner, inner, inner drive that navigates you towards a particular need. That even if you don't fulfill the need, something in you still becomes restless. Because God knows that you have an answer to the cry of orphans. You have an answer to the cry of sick people. You have an answer to the cry of dying souls. There is something inside of you crying out. And it comes out on the medium of compassion. So there are some of you when you see children are not going to school. You become too restless. You want to find a way to pay that child's school fees. Meanwhile, even you cry, nobody cry. Then you realize that you are bigger than your need. Who am I blessing? Am I blessing somebody? Already? Compassion. So, ladies and gentlemen, compassion is the fuel for results. Everything that you are compassionate about, you can change things. When I was not feeling well before the fixer, um, some of my people were very, very much worried because my throat and the way I was coughing and everything. And one of them said, don't bother about Papa. When he takes the microphone, the sickness will go because... And then I believed it. Why? Because I've seen God doing it often times and i came to tell you when you have compassion your deficiency vanish when it is time for delivery and i prophesy as you shout amen receive compassion for your assignment amen receive compassion for your destiny i receive receive compassion for your tomorrow i receive lift your voice and shout oh lord oh lord activate activate my inner compassion my inner compassion I don't know what I'm preaching. Am I preaching at all? Am I preaching at all here? So it is my prayer tonight that by the time I am done preaching, some of you are going to access. <laughs> some of you are going to what? Access a dimension of compassion. Certainly, certainly God is making people to call you. And they want you to do some things for them. And it's all about money. You won't say amen. amen. It's all about winning souls for Jesus. Hey, amen. It's all about kingdom expansion. Hey, amen. It's all about do you want to build a church? I want to be part of the people who will take 50% of the entire building. Hey, this prophecy is for a man of God here who is believing God for a support system that God is bringing that help to you. Hey, amen. My God. So we are dealing with five relevant procedures in clearing a mess. Number one is what I call production. Now it is eight and I'm done for it with you right now. Eight procedures in removing a mess. You realize that when Jesus asked Philip, Jesus already knew it would happen. That means there was already a divine productive machinery in this imaginative ability based on revelation that there is a boy that is already waiting to bring a supply. He asks a man because sometimes when divinity wants to execute purpose, humanity is needed to enforce that purpose. Who am I blessing tonight? I'm taking you somewhere. So production and industrialization is the key for every economic growth and satisfaction. Apostle, what are you saying? Jesus was asking how they can produce food for the people. How they can produce food for the people. Now, anytime you become a producer, you get consumer's attraction. Now, the reason why Jesus did that bread was because there were consumers, but there was no availability of resources. There was nothing produced for the consumers to consume to give them peace to see work with Jesus. Now, this is the mystery about our about life. Everybody here seated here, there are few of us that have product in the market. Most of us we consume other people's products. And what God is telling us is that we should leave this fixer conference not only being fixed spiritually, but we should go and think about a product that will attract consumers to us. 
that your amen should be loud yeah 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 a pillow is a product so you can just do a pillow and say this a natural pillow and i'm not communicating with somebody here now i saw one question i saw one question asawa it is only cotton inside and you call it organic pillow it is your product in the market and you will be shocked people in america will be looking for you because of that can i pray for you tonight may god give you a product amen yes listen to me whenever the fixer wants to fix you he does not only fix you by touching you to fall but sometimes the fixer fixes you by giving you ideas that will end the frustrations of your life may the fixer give you a product amen if you shout amen receive a product amen receive a product amen lift your hand and shout amen three times amen shout again amen shout again amen my God, be seated here. Ask somebody by your side, do you have a product? And do me a favor, say, ask the person, are you a consumer? Or are you a producer? I couldn't hear you. Say it again. Ask the person, are you a consumer? Or you are a producer? Make sure you reduce your voice like me and tell the, ask the person, are you a consumer? Or you are a producer? The second one was publication. Never say publication. Quickly, take me to travel six check of publication. I couldn't hear you. The first one is what production, the second one is what publication. I thought you would say it louder. The second one is what publication. One more time, listen to me. Advert sells more than a product, it doesn't matter how gifted you are. If nobody knows your gift, your gift will die in oblivion, and sometimes. Coca-Cola spend more money to do advert not because what was about to happen there was for Jesus to advertise his ministry to showcase his ministry into the people to let them know that he's also influential and a better person than even John the Baptist because at that time John the Baptist had died so Jesus knowing that he can use five loaves of bread and two fishes to feed 5,000 people will break the record of John the Baptist because their assignments were not the same so John the Baptist they knew him to be a Baptist preacher and Jesus maybe was a charismatic preacher you are not in church so something must happen so that Jesus ministry can be accepted and so Jesus there was supposed to be something that would publish Jesus and so I want to pray for you today may God give you something that will make the word follow you amen that your amen is not good that will make the word follow you amen, amen. sit down I don't know what I'm teaching so production second one is what publications and God's grace was about to be published when the process of multiplication began then i'm going to tell you something here so god's grace became published in the life that were available you are about to experience pps oh come on tell somebody you are about to experience pps i don't like the way you are saying it can you say it again look at someone say hey you are about to experience P What's the meaning of PPS? Positive public show. God is about to showcase you. Your ministry will be showcased. Your marriage will be showcased. Amen. Your glory will be showcased. Amen. Your talent will be showcased. Amen. Your gift will be showcased. Amen. Your ideas will be showcased. Amen. Your craftsmanship will be showcased. Amen. Lift your voice and say, Oh Lord. Oh Lord. Announce me. Announce me. To my generation. To my generation. Lift your voice and shout Amen like fire. Listen to me. If God doesn't announce you, it doesn't matter what you do humanistically, you can be limited. But when God decides to announce you, your cough will become a headline. You missed it. They said, have you seen the way hey, Yvonne Nelson just wrote a book now. I am not Yvonne Nelson. You see how the book sold? Go and write it and see whether somebody will even they will even know that a book is written because there are many people 
that have written books that people never knew they wrote those books sometimes success rides on popularity are you listening to me the first time i bought a book from donald trump and i read it the power of bargaining the power of negotiation i bought all his books i read all of them and i knew the mindset of the man you can know what made people by what they write in their books even if it's a ghost writer they have to buy into their mindset before they can offset that which is in the mind of the person who am i communicating with now i'm praying for you may god announce you but my prayer is the day god announces you may you be prepared may you be prepared Bishop, do you understand what I'm saying? May you be prepared when God is. Come on, shout amen like fire. So anytime you receive a miracle, God's name is published and his goodness is seen. Stretch your hand here. May you begin to experience the goodness of God. Amen. May your testimony announce God in your environment. Amen. There are people who doesn't believe in God. You have preached God to them, but they don't believe in God because when they see you, they don't know what God has done for you. For them to follow the same God. God is about to prove them wrong. Because something new is about to happen in your life. And they will ask you a question, if I don't go here, then they will tell them it's the same God. But just that it is now my time and my season. May God publish you. May God announce you. Amen. May God showcase you. May God amen. reveal you. Amen. May God show you forth amen. in your generation. Lift your hand and shout amen like fire. Amen. Number three is packaging. Everybody shout packaging. One more time. Shout packaging. When they brought, they saw the food. He told them, that let them sit in fifties, in hundreds, and in ranks. Then I don't know whether those twelve basket was available when Jesus was breaking it in, before He gave it to them for distribution. So I came to realize that, despite the fact that miracle was about to happen, there was an order before the miracle. Now I want you to understand that packaging is very very important. Don't say I am God knows what is in my heart. I'm telling you, only God sees the heart. The rest of us we see. Are you listening to me? And there are some women, the day they get married, they don't dress well anymore. And one of my greatest challenges is a woman, do nice makeup, and then you will go out. And then why are you doing that makeup and you are going out with it? It's not a problem. Let people visualize your beauty. But when you come home, don't wash it. Because I also deserve to see that beauty. Are you listening to what I'm saying? And I deserve that that beauty will be able to put some logoliki in my body as a husband for me to feel different about you. Now, who are the kids? 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 Now, who are the What do I look at? my sister package yourself well because anytime something is coming there are people that hey God. i prophesy, prophesy receive the grace to package us amen pastor am i not am i not a good lady am i not a nice lady tell this guy i'm a nice lady the guy doesn't know what is in you until he's attracted by what is around you Who am I communicating with here? Your body is a gift from God. What you do with your body is your own gift unto God. What you put on your body is your own gift unto God. So you have to be a God's gift decorator. You have to be a God's gift word decorator. Am I pray? Am I talking to somebody here? Yes. Sir. You have to package yourself well. Package. Are you listening to me? Yes. Sir. There are people immediately you step out with them and then you go out and say you are going to eat the way they will cross their leg and ask for some cap do you have do you want cappuccino ah. drink it now so below what is so below yet then now i'm asking what is so below yet then walking biscuit what do you, what are you asking for so below for ask for ask for something like do you have pina colada virgin 
Are you in church at all? Yes. Don't 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 go and ask her. Do you have sobolo? I mean, me there sobolo and can can sobolo and can pay. Can sobolo and can pay. Sister, people are not looking for sobolo in in, in such places. You have to say things, and the person look at you and say, "Wow, this lady knows what's up." Who am I communicating with today? You got to package yourself to be attracted to your miracle. Because sometimes God is introducing you to a man, but it takes the man to accept what God is introducing him for. So a man can reject divine introduction based on the packaging. Who am I communicating with here? It's not about how many dress you have. Put yourself together. Learn how to talk. Learn how to walk. Sweet as we go. Okay, then you bring your hand. You take some steps. You say, Oh my God, this lady is class. There are people they don't pray like you. The reason why they are getting more favor than you is because they are packaged with bad content. But you are a good content. Package with wrong packaging. So when they see your packaging, they throw away your content. This is the reason why you are struggling and you think the fixer has not fixed you. But tonight I came to tell you the yes. fixer wants to put yourself together Jesus. because your miracle yes. is coming to you. You won't shout amen. I'm talking. Amen. Yeah. I like the way we chew in him. That's of Mammy Mary. Who is your Juma? Any name, Juma? Come and get your prayer. Have you ever preached to an angel before? You preach to human beings. Sometimes somebody can even smell your perfume and say, Please come, 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 come and preach Jesus to me. Come and preach Jesus to me. Come and preach Jesus to me. Nicely that is preaching. Come and preach Jesus. I'm still preaching. Production, what an authority. Packaging, acceptability. You come to a level where your miracle will be accepted. Where your grace will be accepted. Where your oil will be accepted. I've seen people who are not anointed like we are. They are everywhere because they package themselves very well. The things they will say, you yourself will be amazed. I think I'm preaching. Number four. Is it number three? Number four. Divine provision. Now, Jesus was supposed to bring provision but he made sure there was packaging before the provision followed. Now, a provision without packaging is fraud. Because what would then happen is that the provision will come but will not have residence in a proper place. So the provision will be devalued because of the packaging. Are we not all in Ghana here? We have been chewing granite until we saw Nkache Boga. Nkache Boga is still a granite, but granite that is wearing skirt. And the same, the same number, the same number of Nkache that you will find in Nkache Boga, that they are selling for 5 Ghana City, 10 Ghana City, can be sold with a normal Nkache as 1 Ghana City. So the value of packaging increases beyond the normal ones. There are people you cannot give them 100 Ghana or 50 Ghana and say that, oh, oh, you are my friend. We just spoke. Just take 20 Ghana. Hey! Oh. 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 
Udi. <laughs> so the boy became highly favored. I'm, 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 I'm going to finish with you right now. The, more, the boy became what? highly favored among all because he was an answer this year may god make you an answer if there is only one person in this church that will have bread may god give you bread amen and the way you are crazy shouting amen may god give you a bakery amen may god give you a bakery amen lift your voice and shout amen like fire amen it was the capacity he built that gave him access to promotion. Capacity is what birth promotion. I pray for you that this year you will build capacity. Build spiritual capacity, mental capacity. There is nowhere I've ever been that they have not called me back. Because I don't take any opportunity for granted. Even if you are ten, I have to preach. And I have to preach that you will not forget that I entered there. And the reason is because I don't know who is there. That could be a key that would unlock the major door that I need in my life. So ladies and gentlemen, God is about to bring provision. And if you shout amen, yes, get ready. Lord. You are about to access divine provision. Amen. Provision in the desert. Amen. Provision in the desert place. Amen. Provision in the desert place. Amen. Shout amen like fire. Amen. I'm almost done. I'm finishing in eight. I'm in five now. I'm almost done. Number five is presentation. Everybody shout presentation. Your presentation is based on your experience. It's based on your experience. So when they're about to employ you, they ask you that what have you done before? What have you done before? Tell us what you've done before. We want five years experience. We want this experience because it will determine your presentation. It will determine your confidence. It will determine your delivery. Now, this is Jesus who has now gotten the bread in the hand. But the presentation, there has to be a calculated way of presenting what he had received. And so he had to let them sit in ranks in 50 and in 100 so that he can present it to them. I want you to know that presentation is a skill to develop. It's a skill to develop. It's a grace you must embrace. I'm talking to you. Are you hearing me? It is an arc you need to look for. It's a knowledge to acquire. Presentation is very important. The people had to sit before the fixer fixes them. They had to sit before the fixer fixes them. In the atmosphere of disorder, in the atmosphere of disorder, a room, a five bedroom can look like two bedroom. But in an atmosphere of order, two bedroom can look like five bedroom. Because when there is order, there is more room. I'm preaching. So much a presentation. So, so relaxation is a sign of faith in the fixer. So when Jesus said everybody should be seated, think about that you are hungry. There is no food. And the food we are even looking at in the hands of Jesus was too small. And then you still believed in him and you sat down. For the presentation, what's a sanctity? What a sanctity. What a belief system. What a structural order system. And I pray for you tonight that may God, listen to me, present you to the Father blameless, spotless. Amen. You just missed what I just said. I said, may God present you to the Father blameless. Amen. But you still have to have faith in him. Oh, you miss me. Are you here in church? Yes, sir. You still have to have faith in him. You still have to have confidence in him that he is able to do all things are you hearing me yes, and i pray for you today for that this. god will do all things in your life Amen. he will do all things in your life he will do what all things in your life one more time he will do what all things in your life number six is provision i'm done six seven eight and i'm done provision everybody said provision how many of you have a vision? What you need is not what is ahead of the vision. What you need is what is before the vision. The pro comes before the vision. So when the vision has its source in God, it will have its resource from God. So the pro vision is that God has gone ahead of the vision to bring a supply before you started making a move. 
you missed what I just said. And so I came to tell you today that every dream you have, every vision you have, God has already gone ahead. You miss it. And he's about to, so, so he said, Apostle Nkum, I'm looking for a billion Ghana city to do a project. I said, God has gone ahead. Don't be afraid. Start putting the project together because God wants to fix you economically. If you shout amen, put it together. Put your CV together. Put your goal together. Put your dreams together. Put the plans together. Now take a step to the particular place and watch out what God will do in your life. Because your economy can change when you understand that God has gone ahead of your vision. Everybody seated here is a carrier of a vision. Like every woman can, can give birth to a child. But I came to tell you that when God, when God's vision is in your heart, God's, over, God's provision is already is in your hands but you have to be able to discover that this vision as you move the provision comes as you move the provision comes so you don't have to get a provision before your vision experience execution you have to start taking a move motion with your vision before the provision is ascertained and so when you begin to move God will begin to move with you when you begin to take a step God will begin to step in your step and I pray if you shout amen yes Lord May that vision never die inside. Amen. Shout amen like fire. Amen. Are you afraid? You can do it. Are you, are you hearing me? You can do it. You can change the story of your family. You are the one I just spoke to. You can change the trajectory of your future. You can change everything that is concerning your life and your destiny. And I see you changing things. God is bringing provision. I pray for you. Get ready. Get ready. Provision is not all about money. God can provide a lamp. God can provide. Are you listening to me? God can provide cash. God can provide food. God can provide transportation. God can provide an aircraft. Yesterday, I told you an actress, Funke, Funke, Adeleke, or whatever, just bought a private jet. And I'm looking at myself, Apostle Nkum. After preaching for about 35 years, I don't even have a jet to talk about the one that is private. Are you hearing what I'm saying? Are, are you listening to what I'm saying? And I realize that if God can do it for a comedian, God can do it for a preacher. And if God does, listen to me, listen, 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 listen. Don't be afraid about how people will feel when you become blessed. Because nobody knows how you feel now that you are struggling. So I pray for you today. I, I, I've been watching an advert. He said that I'm not going to collect money uh, for uh, 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 poverty. But now that I have money now, and I'm able to buy nice food, and travel to Maldives and have fun, you are now coming to look at me, to come and tell me, that how did you get the money when i was poor did you ask me how i became poor i pray for you today your success will intimidate your enemies amen your success will silence your enemies amen your success will silence your adversary amen lift your hand and shout amen like fire amen Believe me or not, ladies and gentlemen, God is a provider. I'm telling you. I was there with Bishop not long ago. And he told me, Papa, uh, Apostle, I want to, my brother, I want to, I want to move from my house. I said, okay. I didn't hear from him for some time. He got one contact outside. And then he went and came back. And in a space of three months, he built a house. Now, the mystery here is that it's not about how long ago. When what God wants to do it, what you have been looking for for years, he can do it in three months. He can do it in six months. I thought he would say amen to Jesus. Therefore, anyone hearing the sound of my voice, I declare you an owner of your own house. Amen! I did not even hear the way you are shouting it. The owner of your own car. Amen! God is a provider. Yes. Lift your voice and shout that amen like fire. Amen. 
I've dealt with presentation. Who is here? Who is here? Can I pray for you? One more time. Can I pray for you? You are living here tonight with the anointing of no more lack. You did not hear me. With the anointing of no more lack. Amen. Can I hear you say amen to Jesus? Amen. Do you know sometimes you can need money, pa? And you go and ask somebody. You will go and ask someone. And then nothing will come. And you ask another person, nothing will come. The other person you have not even asked is the person God is using to bring you the answer. The person will just call you and say, Kosi, it is saying, we are okay. Baby, I can't hear me. I don't want to bother you. Wafa. When you do that, and I say, okay, then bye bye. Are you listening to me? Are you say, okay? I mean, I believe it's God who has made you call, sir. As I'm talking to you right now, don't say me pedro no me wu. Nkredu ame no me wu okra me nibi. Don't say that. As I'm talking to you, there is something I need to do, and I need help for it. People sponsor vision, not pocket. People sponsor vision, not stomach. People sponsor vision, not ambition. People sponsor what is in your heart. Sometimes somebody will ask you, is there anything you want you to help me, help you to do? And there is nothing. There is nothing. There is nothing. So what they will now give to you is what you will survive with. But the one that they will give you to live is the one that is in your vision. Because your vision is what gives you access for a living. Last one, and I'm done for tonight. Who have I blessed already tonight? And I'm done tonight. It's enthronement. Is it the eight? Number eight, enthronement. <laughs> Anytime you manifest, people will be attracted to you to ordain you. Enthronement is divinely designed. Please look at me. There are two ways enthronement comes. Enthronement come because of your result or enthronement come because somebody has been dethroned. Who am I communicating with? So the first time I saw enthronement in the New Testament was when Judas made the mistake and Judas died and then they cast a lot and the Holy Ghost helped them to choose Matthias and they enthroned Matthias in place of who? Judas. Now I pray for you today that God will enthrone you in a financial kingdom. That your amen is not good. Can you shout it louder? Apostle, where is enthronement in this? Let me show you. John chapter 6 verse 5. Then we are done. Forceful enthronement is needed. I said, I mean, you see, I could be so one can amen. Wow, therefore, when Jesus perceived that they were about to come and take him by force to make him king, to make him talk to me, to make him, are you tired like me? One more time, to make him. I couldn't hear you. To make him in the Bible, I never saw that he called himself a king before. People wanted to make him king, number one. The king was asking him whether he was a king. And he said, you have said it. Who am I communicating with here? But when the people saw the way the man could use five loaves of bread and two fishes, to feed set capacity of people, they said, Acquire no five, 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 that your resort will make people enthrone you. Amen. Somebody, I want to hear your amen as if you are the only one in church. Amen. amen. 
your family will enthrone you amen your workplace they will enthrone you amen i will not be surprised when they see your hard work and your result and they said you are about to become the manager the director ah. the ceo and ah. co-sharer in the company lift up your voice and shout amen like fire amen god is about to enthrone you amen. the enthronement came because they saw what he did and they said can't we make this man a king god is releasing people into your life <laughs> Hey, believe me, I'm, I, I, I'm an apostle of grace. I pray for you today. You shall be a messiah. Amen. Amen. You shall be carried on a palanquin. Amen. Because your result will make them bow to you. Amen. Shout amen like fire. Amen. I say shout amen again like fire. Amen. Your result will make men bow to you. Stand on your feet and let's pray. Stand on your feet and let's pray. someone with on the same message because there are different types of need but one word can fit into everyone's need because it was the same bread that satisfied everyone but one of the things is that you must open up yourself to revelation because that is when the change and the shift come from can I hear you say amen Lift your hand and say, say in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Tonight. Tonight. I can't hear you. Tonight. Tonight. By the power of God. By the power of God. I decree. I decree. In my desert place. In my desert place. There shall not be a lack. There shall not be a lack. I can't hear you. Listen to me. Open your eyes. 
Like you say, say, oh, I mean, say, say, I mean, I can't say, cry, oh, Missy, I call me one hundred thousand dollars. Then one number seven managing, Missy, I get to be account, me pocket up, me pocket money, a hundred thousand. That is the prayer I want you to pray the Lord in my wilderness. Let me still be an authority. Are you listening to me? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. In my wilderness, let me still be what? An authority. Are you listening? Yes, sir. When Kenya West lost the deal with Adidas and they took most of the billions from him, he was still a millionaire but not a billionaire. He brought some product that looks like uh, like rag, the way he was wearing it. And suddenly, there was a new deal and it looks like he's almost becoming a billionaire. And I realized that in this life, if you enter into certain realm eh, and God blesses you there, it doesn't matter what men do, you will still get there. Now tonight, I didn't say God should lift you to that realm. I want you to agree with me today. If two shall agree in touching anything on earth, it shall be done. We are agreeing tonight. Are you here in church? The Lord in my wilderness, in my let there be abundance. Yes, I could hear it. Let there be abundance. Hey, let, there be abundance. let there be extreme supply. Hey, yeah. Lift your say in the name of Jesus. In the name, name of Jesus. Jesus. I can hear you. Oh. In the name say of the Jesus. Name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Shout again. Say in the name of Jesus. In the name, in the name, name of Jesus. Jesus. Oh God, my Father. Oh God, my Father. Any wilderness. Any wilderness. I will ever experience. I will ever experience. May I. Walk, May I walk strangely, strangely in abundance, in abundance, in the midst of the wilderness. In the midst of the wilderness. Let, me an Let me be an answer. Let me be an answer in the wilderness. In the wilderness. Let me be an answer. Let me be an answer in the wilderness. In the wilderness. I declare today. I declare today in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. I am an answer. I am an answer to every wilderness. To every wilderness in my family. In my to every wilderness, to every wilderness. Economically. economically, to every wilderness, to every wilderness. Emotionally. emotionally, to every wilderness, to every wilderness. Spiritually. spiritually, to every wilderness, to every wilderness. In, the in the name of Jesus, say, Oh Lord, oh Lord. As, I clap my hands, as I clap my hands, and I begin to pray, and I begin to pray. let the rivers, let the rivers. Be, open for me. be open for me, let bakeries, let bakeries. bakeries. Be available for me. Be available for Let me. financial resources. Let financial resources. Be available unto me. Be available unto Let me. emotional satisfaction. Let emotional satisfaction. Be available unto me. Be available unto me. Clap your hands and pray. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Lift your hand quickly with me. I want you to pray this prayer like your life depends on it. Say every negative advertisement. Every negative advertisement against my destiny. Against my destiny. In private places. In private places. Be exposed. Be exposed. I couldn't hear you. One time I was going to preach for somebody in the Netherlands. And whilst I was about to go there, a preacher went there before me. When the person went there, apostle, the person was saying that, is it Apostle Nkum you are bringing to your church? By the time he leaves, he will start another church with your church in Netherlands. Here. Ask for his record, he will break your church away. Even in my dream, I've never done something before. Even in my dream, I've never done one before. Is it Apostle Ngum? Every negative advertisement. Yes, Lord. Listen to me. I'm talking about publication. The Lord will publicize you to your helpers. Amen. And anyone that will go to your helper yes, Lord. to render you helpless. Yes, Lord. May God render them hopeless. Amen. 
May God render them hopeless. Amen. May their mouth be muted. Amen. May their voice be silent. Amen. If you shout, I say, may their voice be silent. Amen. In the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. In the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. I prophesy and I shout, Amen. God is advertising you. Amen. In right places. Amen. In great places. Amen. In high places. Amen. Shout, Amen, like fire. Amen. May God introduce you to a higher platform. Amen. Let that amen be louder than your friends. Amen. Your season of nothing is over. Amen. Your season of dryness is over. Amen. Your season of pain is over. Amen. Lift on and say in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. I declare today. I declare today. My season. My season of dryness. Of dryness is over. Is over. My season. My season of pain. Of pain is over. Is over. My season. My season. My season. My season. My season. My season of rising. Of rising and falling. And falling. It's over. It's over. I receive. I receive momentum. Momentum to take off. To take off this year. This year by divine advertisement. By divine advertisement for Jesus. For Jesus. Grew. Grew in the favor of God. In the favor of God. In the favor of man. In the favor of man. Today I position myself. Today I position for dual favor. For dual favor. I receive. I receive the favor of God. The favor of God. I receive. I receive the favor. For man, the favor for man. I decree. I decree. I shall be polished. I shall be polished. And I shall be published. I shall, I shall be, be published by the Lord. By the Lord. As you shout, Amen. May God announce you. Amen. May God announce you. Amen. May the Lord announce you. Amen. Shout, Amen, like fire. Amen. Amen. Lift up your hand. We are praying two more prayer. Then I pray with you before and then we leave. Who is blessed already tonight? Everybody. I want you to pray this prayer. Listen to me. Everything God would do on it, yes, there must be Philip or Andrew. Sometimes the Philip by proximity you can discuss, but Philip might not be the answer. Philip might be the point, first point of contact, but there is an Andrew waiting for you. It is my prayer that the Andrew that will locate the person with the five loaves will not be far away from you when you need him. But this prayer you must pray very well. And I think that some people don't know that this life, even God, there are many things he can do on earth if he can find people to use them to do it. I'm telling you, I'm telling you. So even God is in need of men. Why do you think he said that we should pray to the God of the harvest? That he should bring in more laborers. Even God is in need of men. He is in need of the men he has created. So today we are praying that Lord release my Andrew. You didn't say amen. Amen. Your Andrew could be the man that will love you and care for you. Amen. Your Andrew could be the person that will support you financially. Amen. Your Andrew could be the person that will sponsor your ministry and your career. Amen. And I pray for you today that your Andrew be released. Amen. That your amen is from the giant. Say, oh Lord, oh Lord, wherever my Andrew is, wherever my Andrew is, as I shout, amen. As I shout, amen. May my Andrew be released. 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 Amen. Come, let me ask you a question. Did Andrew have the bread? No, please. Did Andrew have the bread? No, please. Who had the bread? The lad. There are people that don't have the bread, but they know who have bread. You need both. You need both. Because you might not have the contact to the, to the bakery, but you might have the contact to the person who knows the baker. And if you know the baker, then you can be connected to the bakery. We are praying today. Yes, Give Lord. me two people, oh Lord. Jesus. My Andrew and that small boy. Release them into my life Jesus. and settle my score. Yes, Lord. Are you listening to me? Yes, sir. Right association is a termination from life struggle. Ah. One of the greatest challenges of my life is that when I get people who help me, I carry people to take them there. And the people I take them there. You see, there are people there. Eh? 
Find a way to give them the bread. Just give them bread. Just give them bread. Find a way. Give all you out. Take bread. Take the bread. Because only few people can know where they bake the bread and will not go and destroy food. No, no. Catch your piece. Food. No, no. Eh, won't you? Won't you? No, no. I say. Yeah. No, I, I know I like I like the phone. No, no. Look at someone say phone. No, no. No, only few people will not go and destroy the oven. Oven. Just because you are the one they supply to. And they could go and tell the people that you are more and they are more anointed than you. In fact, in fact, you are an Andrew. They are the boy with the with the lad. You are the lad with the bread and the fish. I've told you before, when your helpers are coming to help you, may they not, may, may they not meet your haters before they reach you. On the way coming to you, let your helpers not meet your haters. Because if your helpers meet your haters, there shall be uncommon delay in your life. Yeng na yashume radio, yeng na yashume radio. But na mi be shira ya ya, ofe ni pasu mi shira ya. Na sa wo se me me ni pa, wo se me shebre. Because me bi a me tu bi radio be fe ni pasu mi shira me. And na ya bon pa na wo mo sa pa ya ya me ni se wo anga sa convention ni we wo ama me yeshi go. E radio. Lord, wherever my helpers are, wherever, wherever my Andrew is, Jesus. whoever holding five loaves of bread Jesus. and two fishes to make my ministry to be announced, oh Lord, release them. Jesus. Oh Lord, release them. Jesus. Clap your hands and pray that. Release them. Jesus, mighty name, we pray. Amen. We are praying our last prayer tonight. Lift up your hands. It's very important. Say, Lord, I will arrive on time. Lord, I will arrive on time. <laughs> Can you give somebody half of and say, you will arrive on time. You will arrive on time. I can't hear you. Say, Lord. Lord. This hand I'm touching. This hand I'm touching. Will arrive on time. Will arrive on time. I said, this hand I'm touching. This hand I'm touching. Will arrive on time. Will arrive on time. Shout amen three times. Amen. Shout again. Amen. Shout again. Amen. I release multiplicity of blessings over your life. Amen. I release streams of income. Amen. Streams of income. Amen. Unstoppable provision. Amen. Can I hear you shout? I receive. I receive. Unstoppable provision. Unstoppable provision. In every affairs of my life. In every, In every affairs of my life. Shout amen like fire. Amen. Stretch your hand towards me. I prophesy. Prophesy. In the name of our Lord Jesus. Yes, Lord. You are receiving access. Amen. To Sihon. Amen. To Pison. Amen. And the rivers of Ephrates. Amen. I prophesy. He prophesy. Streams of rivers. Amen. Will flow in your desert. Amen. Shout amen like fire. Amen. And stretch your hand here. We are about to pray our last prayer. Say in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Any negative pattern. Any negative pattern. I couldn't hear you. Say it like you mean it. Say in the name of Jesus. In the in name, name of Jesus. Jesus. Any negative pattern. Any negative, any negative pattern, pattern that has reduced. Has reduced my influence. My influence in my generation. In my generation. Oh God of fire. Oh God of fire. Arise. Arise. And destroy. And destroy. The source. The source. The source of negative pattern. Of negative against my life against my life my children my children and my children's children and my children's children oh god of fire oh god of fire burn burn i couldn't hear you burn burn i couldn't hear you From your fruits, yes, Lord. I said, Bear, lift your say, My father, my father, my, my father, father, my father, by the grace, by the grace of multiplication.
multiplicity, from multiplicity in this Accra, in this Accra, and beyond, and beyond, I will rule, I will rule, I will have dominion, I will have dominion, I will subjugate, I will subjugate, I will take over, I will take over, nothing from my roots, nothing from my roots will hinder me, will hinder me, in the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, I declare, I declare, I will arrive on time, I will arrive on time, I will arrive on time. Will arrive on time. My blessings will arrive on time. My helpers will arrive on time. My helpers will arrive on time. My finances will arrive on time. My finances will arrive on time. My husband will arrive on time. My husband will arrive on time. My wife will arrive on time. My wife will arrive on time. My breakthrough will arrive on time. My breakthrough will arrive on time. My house will arrive on time. My house will arrive on time. My land will arrive on time. My car will arrive on time. My car will arrive on time. My help will arrive on time. My help will arrive on time. Clap your hands and pray. We are done tonight, but I want us to pray a last prayer. I feel in my spirit. Anything interrupting your speed, yes, Lord. Let God remove it from your way. Amen. Any mess around your life, Jesus. may God take it out of your way. Amen. Some of you were supposed to be in about 30 countries by now, but even Togo, you have not gone there. I pray for you as you shout, Amen. Yes, Lord. The Lord is removing the interruption. Amen. Amen. Some of you that will be going to the embassy, it is my prayer. You will never meet the person that will refuse you the visa. Amen. Amen. You did, did you shout amen louder here? Amen. You will not meet the person that will refuse you the visa. Amen. Some of you who are believing God for finances, you will not meet somebody that will say that I can't. I'm sorry. May God bring people that will say, I believe in you. Amen. Lift your voice and say, Every interruption. Every interruption. Demonic interruption. Demonic interruption. Satanic interference. Satanic interference. Humanistic interruption. Humanistic interference. Humanistic interference. Humanistic interference. Catch fire. Catch fire. I tell you, this meeting every night will be different. Jesus. And I say that as we're praying jokes, I've been broken. Hey, 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 man. And I release you to a dimension of hey, grace. Hey, hey, man. You have never operated in hey, before. Hey, hey, man. I release you into a dimension of wealth. Hey, hey, man. You have never operated in before. Hey, hey, man. I release you to a dimension of giftings. Hey, man. You have never accessed before. Hey, hey, man. Man. I release you into a dimension of power. Yes, Lord. You have never as uh, 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 you have never operated in before. Hey, hey, man. And as your amen thunder, you will not go up. Hey, man. And come down again in your life. Hey, man. As we are going up, yes, we, Lord. we shall go up. Hey, man. Man. And up, Amen. And up, Amen. In the name of our Lord Jesus, Amen. Therefore, I remove blockade, Amen. I remove interference, Amen. I remove impediment, Amen. Shout, Amen, like fire, Amen. We are going to pray the last prayer. Can you do me a favor? Do yes. like this. Locate somebody. Do like this. Or do like this. Any one of them will be okay for me. We are praying for that person. Now listen to me. Anything in your family yes, Lord. that has ever delayed your speed. Jesus. Are you listening to me? Yes, sir. Please, I beg you, if you have never prayed for somebody from your heart before, put everything aside. This is our last prayer. And pray for this person. Because the fixer does not fix from the top to down. He fixed from down to the top. Jesus. We are asking God, anything in our foundation yes, Lord. affecting our harvest, Jesus. let it catch fire from you. Amen. Amen. I thought I would hear you say amen. Amen. So we are praying for that person. Jesus. That Lord grant him speed. Amen. amen. Grant him acceleration. Amen. Grant him peace. Amen. Fix everything that no man has fixed amen. in the life of this person. Amen. amen. Can I hear you shout amen to Jesus? Amen. amen. Open your mouth and pray for the person. Hold on, hold that hand. 
as you are about to leave that hands, Jesus. anything that has ever held you will leave you like that hand. Amen. Amen. And I declare speed on your path. Amen. Amen. Just release your hand. And I welcome you to your new season. Amen. Amen. I say, I welcome you to your new season. Amen. Stretch your hand towards me before we leave here. I decree over your life. Yes, Lord. Harvest of finances. Amen. Harvest of gifts. Amen. Harvest of power. Amen. Harvest of mercy. Amen. I can't hear you. Harvest of mercy. Amen. Where there is dryness. Yes, Lord. You shall be an answer. Amen. Where there is emptiness. Yes, Lord. You shall be an answer. Amen. Where there is pain. Yes, Lord. You shall be an answer. Amen. Where there is lack. Yes, Lord. You shall be an answer. Amen. Where there is sickness. Jesus. You shall be an answer. Amen. Where there is a need. Jesus. You shall be an answer. Amen. Where there is a strategy, you, you shall be an answer. Amen. I prophesy, prophesy, you will walk in a new realm Amen. of authority and power. Amen. You will walk in a new realm Amen. of multiplicity, Amen. of giftings and Amen. gifts. In the name of Jesus, Amen. I prophesy, prophesy, you are positioned for exploit. Amen. You are positioned for plenty. Amen. Positioned for abundance. Amen. Positioned for more than enough. Amen. Give the Lord a shout. Hey! Receive the power of expansion. Hey! Receive the power of increase. Hey! Power for sporadic growth. Hey! Receive power to be a manifestation. Hey! In the name of Jesus. Hey! I declare you tonight. Yes, Lord. That made the fixer Jesus. fix you hey! by his compassion. Hey! Therefore, you are healed. Amen. And that problem in your life Jesus. has dried up completely for today. Amen. In the name of the Father. Amen. And of the Son. Amen. And of the Holy Ghost. Amen. And everybody will shout a louder Amen. Amen. You did not clap. Clap that hand. Amen. Give somebody a high five and say congratulations. It is your season. Shout amen louder in this house.